I'll start again. I, um, I'll start again. Let's see. I want to say thank you to uh, the support that I've received here. Thank you for um, the Cambodian fans, the Cambodian people. Very kind, very, uh, very uh, smiley with me, very respectful. Every time I go outside, I, I take many photos, many pictures. I, I like to take the time to meet everybody. Um, like I said, I, I achieved a lot of success in my career. And uh, before moving to Cambodia, uh, because right now uh, my country in Myanmar is, a, is a facing a lot of difficulties right now, I, uh, I was hesitating, you know, do I go live in Dubai, do I go, do I go live in Singapore or uh, Bali, or, but I decided because I loved my experience here when I came to Cambodia in November 2023, I was invited to the Peace Palace, I, I met with uh, the former president of the Kun Khmer Federation, I met with His Excellency Hun Manet, and uh, I said at this, at this uh, meeting that my goal was to open a Kun Khmer and Litwe gym in Cambodia, maybe in Kep or Kampot in the future. That was my, that's my dream. Um, and they said that they, uh, they, uh, they, have, uh, they would give me my, their full support. The, um, my focus here, the reason why I decided to move in Cambodia is because Cambodia and Myanmar is a great relationship in sports, in, in history, in politics. And uh, I really fell in love with the people here. I really fell in love with uh, the, the country. So for me, it was a very easy decision um, to live in Asia. I want to be in Cambodia. And I do believe that in the next years, Cambodia is on the verge of a massive economic, economic uh, boom because um, it's safe. The, there's beautiful buildings. The malls are beautiful. I went in many countries in Asia. It's, it's so, so ready for a massive growth, massive growth. And um, I want to be part of this. That's why I'm opening my coffee shop, the Dav coffee shop. I'm, that's why I want to open a gym. That's why I, uh, I try to employ a lot of people. Right now I have uh, many employees because I want to help. As, if I want, I want to help everybody. Um, so I chose to, to move in Cambodia because uh, it's, it's very, um, it, it's very, it's a very peaceful and very nice country. So, I'm very happy with my choice. And to pay respect to Cambodia, my ways to pay respect is to, if you look at my social media, you can go right now on my Facebook. Almost every week, I talk about um, Angkor Wat, Siem Reap, the Khun Khmer history, the, uh, the 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 injustice of the Khun Khmer versus, let's say, the 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 Muay Thai sometimes in history. Um, I am a voice for the Cambodian people right now because nobody talks about it. Um, you know, for me, it's a big injustice that the Thailand has boycotted uh, the Sea Games, right? Because Cambodia decided to call it Khun Khmer. For me, uh, I think it's it's not fair. It's not nice. I was uh, I was very disappointed by this. So, I I tried to be the voice and to to uh, to do this and. If Mr. Uh, Kof Chai wants to say we don't need that, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you need it or not. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a citizen. I follow the rules of Cambodia. I respect the king. I respect everything in Cambodia. For, uh, and if I decide to help, I'm allowed to help. I'm allowed to post on social media if I want to. If I want to help Kung Khmer, I'm allowed to. I don't need his, uh, to to to. Uh, he doesn't. Not, he doesn't need to like me. It's not. Him. He should as a president. He should keep his opinion neutral and stay away from the, uh, the, 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 the politics of the fight game. Because if you look in the fight game, it's normal to talk. It's normal to, it's normal to, to, to make some promotion. This has nothing to do with the Kun Khmer Federation. The Kun Khmer Federation responsibility is to, to, to do what they've been doing. Promote, organize events, and make sure that everybody is paid, everybody is... Uh, my job as a, as a professional fighter, as a Kun Khmer fighter, as a Letway fighter, is to promote the sport, right? Um, so for me, I was very uh, disappointed by the, because of my efforts since I moved to Cambodia three months ago. I love my time here. I, I, my baby is born in, in Phnom Penh. I'm, I love it here. It's, and everybody you can ask in the streets, they are very happy with me here. And um, I have a big support everywhere I go. And I am very grateful for that. And 
when I wake up yesterday and I saw the interview that he did without talking to me first, I thought it was very insulting and very childish because a real man would, would message me on Telegram and say, Dave, uh, we have some uh, discussion to talk to you. Uh, we did not like that you did that or we did that. So we'd like to discuss with you. I'm a gentleman. I am, I'm rational and I'm smart. I can talk to you very calmly and we can have a discussion like man because I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't insult anybody. I, I, I did not uh, do any crime. I'm a very... Uh, I respect the rules. For example, when I come to Cambodia, I came on the wrong visa. I came on the, the tourist visa, and I'm supposed to be on the e-visa. I'm not getting any special treatment here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the same treatment as anybody else. And the, 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 they said that I have, would have to leave and come back. So I do a visa run. So I follow the rules. Like uh, I, I respect Cambodia. I decided I, f I flew. I took the plane to Vietnam for two days check my visa, and I came back to Vietnam with my baby. I did that because I respect the rules. I, I pay $1,000 just to, to do that. I did not ask private um, special, special treatment, please change my, my pass. No, no, I respect the rules. So I don't accept is, is, is a 10 minute interview with, uh, with Miss here. I, I don't accept it because everything that he said is, 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 a, is insulting to me, is a lie, and it's defamation. And according to the, 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 the criminal code of Cambodia, if you defame somebody on false basis, this is a punishable by the law. And I can guarantee you, guarantee you, that I did not change the rules before my fight with Prem Sam Nang last year. I can guarantee you, you can ask anybody, my coach, my, my mom, my wife, my uh, promoter, the commentators, and uh, Tommy Kosad, you can ask him. You can check my social media. In August 17, I talk about, I make my official announcement, and I said, Jean-Marie I'm coming to Cambodia. In four months, I, I said I'm coming, and this is the rules, very detailed rules. I will come with no gloves, traditional Kung Kamai ropes, no headbutts, I show respect to Cambodia. I decided my last fight would be in Kun Khmer. I show respect like that. I don't have to fight Kun Khmer, but I like it. I said, I will come to Cambodia and I will fight Kun Khmer. My, um, my, uh, I, I decided no headbutts. And the, the condition, the condition was very clear. No gloves. I asked the promoter many times. No gloves. He said, yes, no problem. Because from Samang, by the way, I don't accept his excuse of, uh, oh, I don't have time to prepare. Because he is the champion in Thailand with Karchuk, with ropes. I never fight with ropes. So he has more experience than me. The point is, it's not Samnang's fault. I respect Pram Samnang. He's a, an amazing fighter. I tell him, I, I, I say all the time, the reason why I decided to, uh, to fight him is because I respect him. I don't fight bad fighters. I don't fight uh, fighters that are not good. I fight stars, superstars. And I think Pram Samnang is a superstar. That's why I say, okay, we deserve to do a matchup. The only condition, the, the Samnang asked me, no headbutt. I say, okay. And my condition, we say, no glove. They say, okay. Maybe Tommy Kosal did not tell Samnang. I don't know why. Maybe he trying to make sure he accept the fight. I don't know. But the thing is, I did not. And the only reason why I came to Cambodia to fight is because I was assured, I was confirmed many times that I was going to fight with no glove. So for Mr. Kov Chai, to come here on the news yesterday and say that I changed the rules and that he doesn't want to do business with me because I can change my mind. I don't change my mind, my friend. I don't change my mind. I'm a professional. I do. I fought many times in the world. I fight in, in USA. I fight in Myanmar, Japan. I fight everywhere. I'm a professional. And then when I say something, I do it. So I, I repeat one last time. I want everybody in the media of Cambodia to understand this. And I'm ready to go to court to prove it because it's very clear. So everybody that is smart can see on social media that I, I, I said it many times, and I even said it at the Peace Palace with the official translator of His Excellency, Hui Manet. I said it. We're going to fight traditional Kung Kimar rules. Samnang was sitting next to me. Everybody knows the rules. Everybody's clear about the rules. 
But before the fight, we can see it on video. I asked, uh, when, uh, I asked the promoter, when are we going to do the ropes? When, when can we do the ropes? And then the promoter said, uh, maybe we fight with love? No. No. I don't need this money. I'm, I'm already successful, guys. He was trying to pressure me to accept the fight because we're so close, right? It's 10 minutes before the fight. Dave, can you fight with love, please? No. No. I don't fight. My, the, I agree on one thing, no glove. And they found the glove and the fight happened. There was a delay of about one hour. It's not my fault, it's the promotion's fault. Not me, I'm a professional. So, I am very insulted by this lie. This is a baseless accusation on me, on my, on my honor as a fighter. And the thing is, the other thing, to do the, the Likamun, traditional Myanmar Litwe symbol, there's nothing wrong about that. I would like to see the law in the criminal code or the Kunkimai rules that I'm not allowed to do this. This is, this is a lie. This is a lie. If you go, if, if, even when Kunkimai fighters go abroad, when they go to Europe or they go, they, they wear the scarf, they show, the, they, they do the Kunkru, Kunkru, they show the, 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 it's part, my culture, is Myanmar Lewe. I also like Kunkemai and I help Kunkemai, but my, my signature move is this. So why you penalize me? Why you tell me I'm not allowed to do this? If I go to an event with, and I see uh, uh, Pacquiao, and by the way, I didn't even want to go see him. They said, please, please, please. I'm, I'm not paid to go there, I'm a guest. Nobody pay me, I'm there. Dave, can you want to meet Pacquiao? No. Tiago wanted to meet him. I said, no, it's okay. Okay, thank you. I could say, please, please, please. Okay, I go meet him. I say, nice to meet you, Pacquiao. Nice to meet you. Hey, let's take a photo. Let's do my, my symbol. I am a private citizen. I'm not, I'm not, I, it's not against the law to do my symbol. I could have done a peace sign, I could have done anything. I decided to do this. Nothing wrong. What they're mad about is that I, I bring more attention to the media than, 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 uh, than uh, because I do this, they bring a lot of attention to the media. So it's not my fault. Um, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very, and the thing is, we also did, uh, Samnang and I, we also did the, the Likamun. You can see on my Facebook page right now. We did it at the town TV station. We did it at Chipmong Mall. At this time, the Kunkemai Federation, they say nothing. So what's the problem? So if you want to do something, you have to be consistent. It's very logical, guys. If you want the, if you want the country to, be, to, to, to grow, and I want to be part of this because I really love Cambodia, if you want, we need to we need to be consistent. If the if the traditional gesture of other sports is illegal, then we should say it right now. Because when Myanmar fighters are going to come to Cambodia, we don't want them to be in trouble. We don't want them to be banned, right? So, if it's not okay with Pacquiao, it's not okay with Samnang. If it's not, it should be. It's either okay every time or not okay every time. So please, I would I would ask Mr. Kupchai to be specific and explain to us what is allowed and what is not allowed. And that's what I would like to, to uh, I would love to have a meeting with him to discuss like a man, like gentleman, not go and make a show like this. This is not, this is childish. I'm 32 years old and I know better. I, I think he's a little bit older than me. I know what, what is the right thing to do. So I'm very disappointed about this. Very disappointed and uh, this is, uh, it, 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 it's almost a little bit uh, discrimi di discrimination, a little bit. So next thing you do, is, is he going to tell me I'm not allowed to wear my traditional dress? I'm not allowed to do this? Or uh, if, if somebody come here, you're not allowed. If you come to a Kunkamai show, you're not allowed to wear the Muslim hat. If you come to a Kunkamai show, you're not allowed to. I don't accept that. I think we are all a big family. We are all uh, friendly. I'm a I'm very friendly guy. Everybody that I meet me thinks I'm friendly. Uh, I am a fighter in the ring, but I'm very kind uh, in real life, and uh, anybody can can say that. So th these the glove lie, the kun the Letwe symbol also very very stupid excuse because I promote Kunkemai all the time. One time I do my my, my symbol, and you you give me shit for this one time. This, this I don't accept this. I am a big 
big promoter of Kunkemai. I move my, my family here, guys. If some of you have kids, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stress. I have a two-year-old son and I have a newborn baby. I am very, I, I, I really, really choose carefully where I move. I could have went anywhere in the world. Malaysia, Bali, Singapore, Dubai. I chose Cambodia because the fighting culture, the fighting culture. I love Dubai, I lived in Dubai for one year. I, I love it. They don't have the fighting culture like Cambodia. Singapore, same thing. Malaysia, Vietnam, same thing. In Cambodia and Myanmar, there's the traditional martial arts that other countries don't have. Right? In Japan is karate, in, in, in uh, South Korea is Taekwondo, in Myanmar is Letwe, in Cambodia is Kun Khmer, and in Thailand is Muay Thai. I, I could have went anywhere, I don't, by the way, I don't want to go to Thailand, why? Because, and that's funny, that's, I, don't, I don't know if you guys understand, you can translate that pro properly, but I see some people on social media, they say Dave is banned from Thailand. I think so, but I don't want to go also. And the reason why they're not happy, you know why? It's because I talked the truth. I said that the story of, of uh, the, the, the folklore story, because in Thailand they have a story, it said that uh, during the Siam Burmese war, there was a, a, a person, I think he's a fictional person, his name is Nai Nakom Tom, Nai Nakom Tom, and he was captured by Myanmar, by, by, by Burma, and apparently, this is a story, that's the story that I'm mad about, and that's the, the reason why I, I got uh, banned from Thailand. And I, I, I will always fight for, for what is true, always fight for what is true. So Naina Komtom gets captured by Myanmar, they bring him back to Burma, and apparently he fights nine Myanmar, Myanmar champion in a row, with no rest period, and he beats them all. And then he gets granted uh, Burmese wives, and he gets, he gets his, uh, uh, his freedom back to Siam. There's no proof of this story ever existed, ever. Even the Thai people message me and say, Dave, I know this story is only a folklore story. It's a story that our parents tell us. We don't believe it. I'm sorry if this story insults you. Because this story, guys, in Myanmar right now, there's a lot of problems in terms of... of uh, and, and this story is, is hurting Letwe. Because one fighter from Thailand apparently beat nine Letwe fighter. This is insulting for Letwe. It's insulting for Myanmar. Right now, Myanmar has no tourism. It's very hard. It's very crazy right now. And it's... Uh, it, it's, it's the only thing that we have is Myanmar Litwe. The only thing that we have right now, you know? People cannot come, it's very hard to come to Myanmar. Cambodia is open, it's, I'm very happy, I'm very happy for the Cambodian people, but Myanmar right now is very hard. So this story is very, very hurtful. So I tell the story to the Thai media, and they don't like it, because I talked about the, the, history, the history of Thailand. Anyway, I do the same thing. I do the same thing that Cambodian people do all the time, but with a bigger, bigger platform. Because every day, Cambodian people message me, Dave, thank you. Thank you for telling the real story about Kun Khmer, original from Cambodia. Every day. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dao. Dao. Dao, my nickname, sword, you know. Dao. Thank you, Dao, for telling the truth about Kun Khmer. Because if you want my opinion, my opinion, Kun Khmer is the older ancestor of Muay Thai. That's my opinion, and I think that's the opinion of Cambodian people also. But nobody has the following that I have, and only me can, can, can uh, speak to international base and people listen to me. I'm a defender of Kun Khmer here. I help tell the, the true story, because who else has the, who else has the courage to tell, to tell the truth? Nobody. Nobody has the courage to tell the truth. So, me being banned from Thailand because I tell the truth about a story should be, should be something that uh, is very, uh, very proud for Cambodian people. Very should be proud because I defend the, the, the real history. I defend the real history. I defend the history of, of Myanmar and I defend the history of Khmer people. Because if you look at Angkor Wat, beautiful temple. If you look at Khmer, right? The Khmer. 
in Thailand, they have the white crew. In, in Cambodia, we have the Mong Tong, right? They have the, this, in, Tha in Thailand, have the Mong Tong. The, the Sak Yank, right? Uh, I can show you my, I can show you my Sak Yank. A Kung Kamai, Kung Kamai tattoo, right? This Kung Kamai. This is Cambodian, old Cambodian, Cambodian dialect, right? So every Muay Thai fighter in Thailand, they have Khmer tattoos. I have Khmer tattoos on my back. I, I think a real man, a real respectful president should ask for a, a civilized meeting. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not crazy. I can talk very calmly and say, if he tells me, Dave, please, don't do the Likamun. Don't do the Likamun. If he talked to me and he asked me politely, of course. Okay. I want to, be, I want to live a peaceful life here. I want to be, I, want, I just have my baby I just want to peace, I live a peaceful life. And he attacked me like this on, so, on social media, made interviews. My, my, my employees are getting harassed. Why, why, why does uh, Dave do this? Why did, what did I do? What, what did I do? The only thing I do is follow the rules of Cambodia, follow the rules of the visa. I don't get special treatment. And I promote Kun Kamai. That's, that's all I do, if you look at it. Maybe he's not happy that I have money because I, I ask, first of all, by the way, I'm retired, right? I don't care if I'm banned from Kun Kamai Federation. I'm a retired fighter. My fight with Prom Sam Nang was my last fight. I'm, I'm retired. So he banned, he banned a retired fighter. Akun. Oh, Akun. Akun. So he banned a retired fighter. Understand that? <laughs> it's very funny. Very funny. It's now it's just I'm just defending my honor right now. I don't care if I never fight again. I will still fight. I will still promote Kun Kamai. I don't need to fight. I don't need to fight in the ring to promote. I don't need. By the way, I have an event in October in Pakistan. My my show. I have a, my show, and I will have. I actually tell my partner I want to have. I told you, right? I want to have Kun Kamai. I want to bring two Cambodian fighters to Pakistan. And I'll bring my, my, my security also because in, Cambod in Pakistan, we don't need a visa. Pa uh, Cambodian people don't need visa. So I want to have Letwe, Kun Kamai. Who else is... I'm promoting Kun Kamai. I don't need to fight. I can be a promoter. I can be... Um, if he doesn't want, he doesn't accept me in Kun Kamai, okay. But, it, but I want everybody to know, all the Cambodian people to know, that his excuses are lies and they're not valid. They're not valid. He has the power for the Kun Kamai Federation. No problem. I'm a happy man. I will, I will do my coffee shop. I will, be, I will live a peaceful life in Cambodia. I will have my eSports uh, mobile legend game. I will, no problem. If he doesn't want me in the Kun Kamai Federation, no problem. But his excuses are not valid. He said that I, he's mad at me for asking for $1 million right, for, for fight. What's wrong with that? I make a lot of money when I fight. Maybe he doesn't want me to make money. I don't know. I, when I was at the Hanuman Kun Kamai show, I spent one hour, you can check on my Facebook, one hour live stream, I take selfie with the fans. Who else do this? One hour. I do, I care. I love the Kamun people. I'm so happy. You can ask my, my people. I always take the time to take photos. And then during that live stream, I do one interview. And he asked me, Dav, are you gonna, do you want to fight Kun Kamai again? You want to fight again? I said, I'm retired, I'm retired, but if, if I want to fight again, I need to make good money. And I want a million dollars. And I would like to fight Muay Thai fighters. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with me saying that I want to fight Muay Thai fighters? I don't, I'm not saying that I'm the only guy that can do it. I'm not saying, that, he, he said, Oh, we don't need him. We don't need him to, uh, to defend Khmer Kham people. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying I need me, but I'm allowed to do it if I want to. Cambodia is now open to the world, and we have to respect. 
The mistake that he did, the mistake that he did is that he, he did not ask for a meeting. The mistake that he did is that he went directly to the media. That's his mistake. When, if I want to say, I'm already a millionaire, okay? So if I fight, it has to be worth my time. Understand this in English? If I fight again, it has to be worth my time. And I need to make at least $1 million. But I don't care if I don't fight again. I already have businesses. I have business in Colombia, in, in, uh, in Latin America, in America. I have in Canada. I have a car dealership. I sell cars. I don't need to fight to make money. I'm not a normal fighter. I'm a businessman. When I was 19 years old, 19 years old, I was the youngest bank manager in Canada in the bank of Laurentian Bank. I'm a banker. I was managing millions of dollars in mortgages, more loans. Okay? I'm 19 years old, and then I opened my limousine company, and then I was a manager of a nightclub, and then I decided, I don't like this life. I want to go to Asia. And I leave, I leave everything. Okay? And I, I'm just a good fighter. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a businessman, so I don't need to fight. So it's okay, Kupchai. If you don't need to fight, no problem. It's okay. It's okay. If you don't, I, 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 I will not twist the arm of people for my help. For my help. I want to help from my heart. Because why? Because Cambodian people have accepted me. Cambodian people have welcomed me with open arms, with a warm, warm, warm heart in the country. And every day I get so many nice comments. So that's why I want to give back. And because right now in Myanmar, it, the situation is very, is very bad. And they, they accepted me here. And by the way, Mr. Kupchai, I'm not seeking asylum. I'm not seeking uh, nationality. If they give it to me one day, great. I, I, I don't need it. I'm only here as a private citizen, a law-abiding citizen, a, a citizen that respects the law. I'm only here as, a, as a, a normal citizen that wants to do business here. That's it. I'm not looking for special treatment. Like I already said, I don't have any special treatment here. I, I had to go to Vietnam to change my visa. And I'm not here for asylum. I'm here because I want to be here. Because I have enough money to go to Dubai, I have enough money to everywhere, but I love it here and I want to help. I have about 20 employees right now. I want to have 100 employees. And I want to maybe one day, I, will, I want to be, uh, well, you want to know the truth? I will be a billionaire one day. When I was last time with uh, Mr. Lane Meng, the Chipmunk Group, I was, he, he brought me to, uh, with his helicopter and he brought me to CM Reap. He was a great gentleman. I have very big respect to him. I'm very inspired by him what he's built here with the Chipmunk Group. And he told me some secret in the helicopter, business secrets. And I, and I, uh, one day, I want to be like him. I want to be a, a billionaire. Not, I'm already a millionaire. The question is, where is it going to be, right? Because the more money you make, the more you can help. I want to help Cambodia. Um, and uh, maybe one day I will buy the Okna title. You know, that would be my dream also to buy, to become Okna Dav. That would be my goal. I will follow all the rules, and if Mr. Kapchai does not want a meeting, no problem. No meeting, no problem. I will disappear from the Kunkamai scene. I will, I will not go to, uh, I will watch the Kunkamai shows from Facebook. Last time, the reason why I went to Hanuman Group uh, show is because they invited me, right? They invited me. I was supposed to go to Singapore in a business meeting, and the day of the show, my, fight got, my meeting got canceled. So then I received a text from the Hanuman, you want to buy on TV, do you want to come? Do you want to come to the show? I say, yes, okay. And I go to the show because my friend uh, Andrew Whitelaw, the American commentator was there. I support him. Um, I don't go there because of Manny Pacquiao. I don't care. I'm more famous than Manny Pacquiao in Cambodia. <laughs> I'm the street. I, it's, 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 uh, anyway, so I go to... Um, I go to uh, to show and I, I uh, it's okay. If it is, I, I will not go to the shows anymore. I will watch from Facebook, and I will do business and I will I will open a big big company here and I will have a lot of employees and I will help Cambodia. I will and I will uh, support. I will give some money to the Khmer fighters, the Kung Khmer fighters. I will give them in secret because he doesn't want my he doesn't want me to be part of the. Okay, no problem. But it's unjust. It's it's not fair, it's a lie. And the reason for this ban is a lie. And uh, he knows, 
or maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he got he, he's being lied to by uh, Tommy, uh, because we never signed a contract for the we never signed a contract. It was only on Telegram, and the only the the proof that we have is on Facebook. I tell that we don't know gloves on Facebook. So. Yeah, I'm very, um, I'm very disappointed by this attack, and um, it makes me, it makes me sad for not for me. I don't, I'm not sad for me. Don't be sad for me. Don't be sad for me. It makes me sad for Kunkemaya because we uh, we can work together and and and, and uh, help each other. That's why I'm not sad for me because I don't need this. I'm, I'm retired. He's banning a retired fighter. <laughs> It's, it's very funny. Uh, um, so, I um, I would like to uh, to say again, thank you for the support in the Khmer people. Thank you for the support, and uh, I um, I'm uh, very happy. My son is born here. Uh, I'm happy. I'm excited to. to I, the only place I see in Cambodia right now is Phnom Penh. My goal is to go to uh, to Kep. And Kampot and Sianukville, I want to visit, right? So one day when my son is a little bit older, I will go visit more, you know. Uh, oh, I, sorry, I see Siam Reap already. So if you have any questions, please tell me. No, no signed contract. Yes. The rules of fighting for Khmer. Yes. Does the general of federation said that you, uh, the rule of fighting, you use the gloves? No. And that's a lie. You, uh, you said the rule of fighting because my use about the, the yes, yes about rules. Yes. So, but do you have any doubt to him about that? So again? So I, yeah. Like I, I just said it. I, I just said it. This. We never signed a contract. It was only on Telegram, and on Telegram, after uh, one week, uh, the the, com the messages get deleted. So it was only it's only uh, on Telegram. They were never signed a contract. It was only handshake, handshake deal, and the handshake was ropes. That's it. And you can check on my. The only proof that we have is on Facebook. Four months before the fight, I said that we were fighting. I explained the rules. So anybody that is not blind, anybody that is smart, can look at me. I, I said in the video, I said in post, I talked about it many times. I could, um, yes, so the, the reality is he's a, he's a liar. He's not, he's, he's not, I don't know where he gets the information, but the, the real story is that I never agree for glove. I don't fight with glove. I'm a bare knuckle champion. I fight with fucking, no, I fight with no glove. So why would I, fight, why would I agree to fight no, uh, with gloves? I, I said many times that my fans, don't want me to fight with gloves also. That's the reason why I will never fight Muay Thai, but I accept to fight Kun Kamai because Kun Kamai is cool, is with ropes for me. So I, I never, never agree with gloves, ever. I would, I'm willing to do a lie detector test. I don't care. I know I'm, I speak the truth in front of God or anybody. I, I know the truth. So somebody is lying and it's not me. Tommy is lying the promoter, and if he's a man, if he has balls, he should say the truth, because now he's, he's lying about a very specific thing. My coach coming from Canada, I tell him, he's my crew, my crew, right? I tell him, we have a fight, we agree, no gloves. I would never agree with love. I hate love. I never agree with love. So this is, is such a stupid, stupid allegation, stupid lie. And when you see, there's a documentary on the fight uh, on YouTube, and I'm sitting down, and I, I I'm, we're asking when, when is uh, the guy are gonna come? When are, when are they coming to make the ropes? And I ask, I, when, when are you gonna do the go? And they say, oh, can we, can we fight with glove? What do you mean? We went, we spoke about it already many times for for many months. Why you tell? Why you change the rules now? I don't change the rules. So for me, he tried to blame on me. It's you no, know, you know, this, you're gonna understand that. It's like a girlfriend that is cheating on the boyfriend. Okay, the girlfriend is cheating and is the wrong, and the boyfriend is a good guy, but the girlfriend is jealous. Is always saying, "You cheat on me. You cheat on me," because she is in the wrong. The the person in the wrong trying to blame it on me. I'm not in the wrong, so they blame it on me now. They they are the cheating girlfriend. 
The cheating girlfriend is trying to tell me that I'm the cheater, but I'm not the cheater. I have one honor in my life. I'm a very respectful guy. I respectful. I'm anybody that works for me know that I'm I'm very respectful in terms of of, of business, and I will never. I, I went to the Peace Palace and I tell that in two days we're going to fight traditional Kunkamai ropes. So I would, why, would I, why would I do this? It's, it makes no sense. What makes sense, what makes sense is that they try to protect some nun maybe. Because they know that I'm an expert with no glove. They know that I'm an expert. So maybe they try to protect him. I don't know. But I'm not mad at some nun for this because it's not his fault. Maybe the promoter and the Kunkamai, they don't tell him the, 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 the details. But I asked Mr. Tommy Kosal and uh, Tan TV, I told them minimum 10 times. No gloves, right? He said, yes. No gloves, right? Yes, no problem. I said, are you sure? Yes, sure, Dav, sure. Are you sure? Yes, no problem, no glove, of course. Are you sure because I don't like gloves? Yes, no problem. I, sh I even sent him a picture of the ropes. I want like this. Okay, no problem. <laughs> and now they blame it on me that I changed the fucking rules? Unacceptable. I'm so, so mad, so mad that they blame it on me like this. Because, you know what, you know why I'm mad? Because I, 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 I did a great performance on that night. I did a great performance, I, like, a, we fight like real fighter. And now, after the fight, they invent the story on me. And it, it, it kind of takes away, I don't, it takes away from my, my performance. It, the, the focus was more on this than how good a fighter I am. So I'm, I'm very disappointed. They're trying to, I think they're trying to find an excuse for, um, for my performance. Because I, 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 it was a draw, right? But I dominated the fight. I think everybody know that. Um, and they tried to, they're trying to make an excuse why I dominated the fight. Oh, maybe it's because this. No, I dominated the fight because I'm a, I'm a good fighter and I have good skills. That's it. I did not cheat. I'd never cheat on fighting. Thank you. You say you try to promote Kunkmai, and actually, my question: Are you trying to promote Kunkmai, or are you trying to promote yourself in the world? Okay. Well, that's a great question. Um, is it bad to do both? That's a question for you. So it seems to be a little, a little misconception about life. I'm, I, I'm, first of all, the more I'm successful, the more I can help people. Right? The more money I make, the more. I, right now, this, this building, I'm going to have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, minimum about 20 employees. So yes, I'm trying to be successful. Yes, I'm trying to promote myself. Who is not trying to promote? Any politician, any businessman, anybody trying to promote themselves. Anybody. It's normal. So it's kind of funny. When, are you trying to promote yourself? Well, of course. Tuntera is trying to promote himself. Uh, uh, G. David tried to promote himself. Um, Vanda tried to promote himself. Oknashwar, uh, Hanton uh, tried to promote Everybody, Everybody trying to promote It's normal. Uh, the, 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 every businessman tried to promote himself. So there's nothing wrong with that. But I also can guarantee you that I'm, I promote Kung Kimai more than a lot of people. Because a lot of fighters don't talk about it as much as me. I talk a lot on social media. I post a lot about Kung Kimai. I defend a lot. So I do both. To answer your question, I do both. And there's nothing wrong with promote myself and promote uh, Kung Kimai. I can do both. I actually can do more than one thing at the same time. I can be a good father. I can be a good businessman. I can promote Kun Kamai. I can promote myself. I can promote Litwe. You know, I ha I can do many things. I cannot in life. You know, you don't. You can. You know, you can be a mother and you can be a wife and you can be a. a um, you can work also. Like so, Dave, Dao, Dao Liduk is not only, is not only one thing. I'm many things. I'm a businessman. I'm a father. I promote Kun Kamai. I live in Cambodia. I I I, I promote Litwe. I do I do many things. Understand? It's very it's, it's so. To answer your question, um, I am uh, I do I I, I want to be successful here. Of course, I want to have many businesses because the more businesses that I have, the more I can have employees and the more people I can help. My goal is to. You know what my goal is? I would love to see Cambodia as a, one of the top destinations of tourists in the world. Right now, it's not. 
it's, it's coming, but it's not. Right now, people, they go to Thailand, and they go to uh, maybe Bali, they go to Indonesia, and they, I, I'm trying to say, I want to open a gym here, and, uh, and oh, by the way, in order to promote it, in order to open a gym, I need to promote myself, and I need to help, uh, I need to get investors, so of course, you need to promote yourself if you want to be successful. So my goal is to be to people around the world, in UK, Canada, America, hey, Guys, you already go to Thailand, you already go to Phuket. How about you take one hour flight and you come to Cambodia? How about you do that? Come try, come see, come try, you know? So that's my goal. And my goal is to be, is to be uh, very successful and have 1,000 employee, Khmer employees. I wanna, I wanna help families, I wanna help, I wanna build, I wanna build stuff. I wanna, you know, in, in Myanmar I open gyms. And I, in Cambodia I wanna open gyms also, I wanna, I wanna help. So, um, there, the conclusion is there's nothing wrong with people trying to be successful, um, and uh, it doesn't make uh, it doesn't make it wrong to be to promote yourself. Of course, I'm a I'm a personal I'm a public personality. I'm a, so I have two million followers on Facebook. Of course, you don't you don't become you know that. By the way, I think the what's his name uh, Chuck Chuck Chai uh, what's his name. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Kau Chai. He also tried to promote himself because he likes to go in front of the media. This is promote. This is self promotion. He has six thousand followers, uh, four thousand followers. I have two million. So he's using my name to promote himself, and it's okay. It's I do that too. With it's okay. We promote himself. Be. I, I. I only wish him the best. I. W I want him to be happy. I want him to be successful. I wish him the best. If I. W I wish him that he can have a great career in the Kunkemai Federation. No problem. If the, If he doesn't want me in the Kunkemai Federation, no problem. I don't need this, but I want to help. Yeah. I'm willing to meet today, you know. Uh, the reason why we're doing this right now on a plastic chair, and the reason because he is not, uh, he, he did not ask for a meeting. That's the only reason. I would have loved to go there I, and talk about it because there was no problem. There was no problem. The problem is that it's a lie. The glove is a lie. I would show him my social media. Look, so I, I could very, very tell him that is uh, that. The, the, the thing is, the reality, I don't think he wants to talk to me. I think he just wants to attack me, attack me, attack me. But I don't know. I'm, yes, I'm willing to talk to him. I'd like to discuss with him. I, have, I, I respect him. It's okay. Um, he, doesn't like, he doesn't have to like me. And I don't have to like him also. We can be, respected, we can be respectful, you know. In life, maybe you have some neighbors that you don't, he's not your best friend. But you don't have to, you don't have to go on social media and attack them. You just, you just don't go hang out at supper with them. You don't have to spend time with them if you don't like them. So Mr. Kapchai, if he doesn't like me, no problem. But I'm not doing anything wrong and nothing illegal, nothing wrong. I'm only doing myself. I'm respecting the rules. And if there's, a, if there's something you want to tell me, please tell me uh, in a, and I will gladly listen. So she, she have the question, uh, all the way you talk about the from to man. Yeah, so uh, some uh, Cambodian friends or Cambodian people always uh, respect to the from to man. After you uh, talk about the from to man, Sometimes they make unhappy with you. So oh, what you well, they can, they can, they can be sad. It's okay. <laughs> good, good for them. I, I don't, I don't. It's part. You know that. You know what fighting life is. That's that's fight life. So my question, my answer to them is, 
they can be fined from something and I can be, f I don't care. <laughs> Do you know how fight, everybody has favorite fighters. It's okay. Some people like me, some people like Sam Nang, some people like both. It's okay. It's okay. I respect, my, my answer to this is I respect their opinion. You know, I, in the fight game, it's normal to do marketing, you know, and um, I, I don't do anything wrong to, it's, I, I do not, I did not hit him. I did not, uh, I did not, uh, if actually you want to talk about this, I respect him, but I'm very angry at him because after uh, at the fight in November, I never spoke about this because it was a very big fight and it was very a lot of uh, a lot of politics. But he hit me with an elbow after the bell, three seconds after the bell. So we hear ding ding ding, boom, and I I was. <laughs> I was very mad because now my eye was, I, have, I was very mad at this. I don't tell anything, I, say, I, I respect him and everything, but this is not professional. You should listen to the bell. Yeah. So what about this? What do we say about that? Yeah, yeah. Some fans are not happy about this, you know? Yeah, yeah. So should, should she apologize to me, you know? So why is it only me that, oh, you do this, you do that, what about him, you know? What about that? And what about the promoter, Tommy, that lie about the glove? What about uh, Samnang that hit me like this? What about this? So I think we need to calm down. We need to take a deep breath. And we need to, to understand that this is part of expanding to the world, right? I live the same thing in other countries. Right now, people are not really understanding. Because before, before I arrived here, everything was very... Uh, I don't want to explain it. But right now, we have a lot of eyes, international people looking at this because people are wondering why did Dave move here? You know, I can be in any other country, but I love Cambodia and I, I want to help the, the fighting Kun Kamai. So people are starting to understand, understand it. And by the way, that's your question, I changed my question. So Kavchai said, Kun Kamai is already famous around the world. Yes, but not that much. Why? Because, because of Muay Thai, they, are, they already dominate the world in, in the gyms around the world. Right now, in, if you go to America, in California, and we ask, do you know what Kung Kemai is? They say no. If you ask them, do you know what Muay Thai is? Yes. You know, understand that. This is not me saying that. This is the truth. This is the reality. What I'm, what I'm, try, I'm trying to do is bring international people. Tun Tera does not speak English. Pram Sam Nang does not speak English. Uh, all the other guys don't speak. They're amazing fighters and I have a great respect for them. But I, before I, come to, before, I, before I came to Myanmar in 2016, it was the same situation. Nobody knew about Litwe. It was very hard. It was very hard. Nobody knew Litwe. But then I started, I started uh, promoting with the fighters. I started doing this. I went on the big podcast, Joe Rogan podcast with 100 million viewers, you know. Uh, I go, I go, the, I started promoting in English. And now, more people know about Litwe. A lot of people know about Litwe. And I want to do the same thing with Kukumai because it's a beautiful sport and it's the original art. It started here, the Kemai Empire. So, um, I, uh, I don't care if he, 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 I don't care if he doesn't, he, he, what he thinks. Yeah. Another question? Yeah. Why? The media talk about it? Yeah. Good. This is very important about your respect to Prom Kumai. Yeah. With the peace of with the great men like the, the Prom yeah. of the features of the... Yeah. Do you, uh, you, know, you know why I did this? Because, well, first of all, there's nothing illegal to doing this. So there's no rule about the Kun Kumai Federation. There's no rule. There's no problem. So I don't even have to justify myself for this. It's marketing. 
and uh, I'm allowed, and I think the suit is beautiful, and it cost me $1,000 for the suit. I don't, but if you want the real reason, it's because the fans on social media were, uh, were giving me, were, were talking about the glove lies and everything, and they're telling me that uh, Samnang hurt me. With the, hurt me after the bell. So it's not even during the fight. We have nine minutes, and he doesn't hurt me. And after nine minutes, he hit, he hit me. So I was getting a little bit, I, I have emotions too. I, I had a little bit, uh, I was a little bit uh, frustrated, uh, a little bit mad that people were posting pictures on my Facebook. They were posting pictures of me with the blood, 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 blood. I said, oh yeah? You, you, this, I'll, I'll show you blood. I will show you what I did to Professor Nike. So to be honest, the reason I do this is to show that my performance was good. I, that was the fight, that was the picture after the fight. You know, so that was to show the performance but I only did this because the fans were posting pictures. It's, it's fun and it's okay. It's part of business. It's, it's, uh, business, uh, it's called entertainment business. So if, if we, we need to understand that. And uh, as long as we're, nobody's hurting everybody, you know, uh, it's, it's only words and only it's, it's, uh, it's marketing. And it's good because, by the way, because of that picture, I posted on social media, many people from America, Canada, Middle East, they, they see it because I have a big fan, fan base on Instagram and everybody. And they see, they ask, who is that? So now Pram Samnang is more famous because of me. Yeah. And uh, people know about Kum Kemaya because And they see, oh wow, you, live, you moved to Cambodia? Why Cambodia? Why? You know? Do you see, it? There's, not that, there's not that many tourists right now. Like I, it's starting, but it will be. It will be because of Kung Kumai. Kung Kumai is a beautiful sport, beautiful sport, and I am very impressed with the quality of events here. I think it's better than uh, actually. I think the the, the events at Kung Kumai, I will say it very very. They're better than the events in, in Myanmar. Better. The quality is better. Um, the the event at the Chipmong uh, Mega Mall when I fight in November was massive. You know big, big lights, and I think the promoter are doing a better job here than in, in my home country, in Myanmar. I'm, you see, I, I, I'm, I'm very honest, and I, I really love Cambodia. I really, I really tell the truth. I think, I also think that Kun Kamai promotion is better than Thai promotion because they, uh, it, looks, it looks better. I think, the, I think my fight was with Works, uh, Kamai Beverage, it's very b big. Uh, after that, my friend Chris Garrido, he come here and he did a Gainsbourg, Gainsbourg show, big fight. The fights here are amazing, beautiful. I'm very impressed by the quality. It's better than Myanmar, you know? And, it's, and we don't have any ego, you know? My friend is Myanmar, we're, 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 it's, it, we're, we have no ego. We tell the truth. The events in Cambodia, the quality of production, val production value is better than in my home country in Myanmar, and it's better than me in Thailand, and it's better than, and, uh, you know. I, I, I only have good things to say about Kung Kamai. And uh, yeah, that, so for the suit, I, it's marketing, and it works. And uh, Samnang should thank me, because uh, he got uh, many fans because of that. Because now they see, who is this guy on Dave's shirt? Then they go on Wikipedia, oh, Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, he's a famous fight. Oh, he has 160 fights. So I, I, I bring attention to him, you know? Anyway, so uh, it's marketing. It's, I don't, I don't. Mm, yeah. Well, because in my opinion, Samnang uh, is uh, when I when I fight him, he was the king of Kunkemai. That's my opinion. Opinions are legal, by the way. Yeah? We're, 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 I think uh, Kunkemai, uh, the 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 king of Litwe, the king of Myanmar Litwe, is the best fighter in the country. Okay. I was now I'm retired. I the king of Litwe is is somebody else. Okay. But and usually it's the biggest weight. The biggest, the heaviest fighter in the country is the, is the, fight, is the, the best fighter. So Pram Samnang is the tallest and the biggest. And he already beat Tuntera in 2021 or 2022. So 
it's, and he has almost no defeat. One defeat in 160 fights. He never, and he only get KO one time in uh, the beginning of his career. So 170, 60 fights, only 10 losses, one time KO. He's the biggest guy, tall guy. I think he's the king of Kunkamai. And he beat Tuntera. So who, is that? who else is king? Tuntera is 5'9", five, 5'0", five foot, five foot, and he's 72 kilograms. Paramsam 9 fight at 81 kilograms. So there's 6, 7 kilos. The weight is the difference, you know? If I fight Tuntera, I don't fight because I'm retired, but I'm bigger than him, and I'm stronger than physically than him. I'm, I, I'm, I'm very strong. I'm 80, right now I'm 80, 80 kilograms, you know? So I think when I fight with Pram Sam Nang in 2023, he is the king of Kunkamai. And how was the fight? Tell me, how was the fight? Did he hurt me? I think I did pretty good. I think I did a very good performance at the time, right? So, if it was a rule set, I would ask if there was judges, right? Because there was, there was judges, who win? I think I win by decision. Decision win, right? So I think at this time that I was, I was the, I, I, I'm superior fighter and I'm better than Samnang and Samnang is the best fighter in, in Cambodia. So I think it's a very rational conclusion that I said I'm the king of Kunkamai. But now I'm retired and now the king of Kunkamai, they can decide who it is. They can decide. They can decide it's Pram Samnang, Tuntera, I don't know, I don't care. I, me, I just want to bring more money in the pockets of fighters. I want to have a gym. I want to sponsor fighters. I want to bring tourism. I don't care about fighting anymore. So Kav Chai, I don't care if you, if you ban me. I don't fight. I'm retired. So the, the conclusion is, it's an opinion, right? The fans can decide who is the king of Kunkamai. The fans can decide. And after my fight with Bram Sam Nain, I think a lot of people think I'm, I'm, the, I'm the better fighter. I'm the best fighter at the time. But now, I don't fight anymore, so I don't care. So, but again, this, even if that, even if they doesn't like that comment, I, in life, you know, in America, Canada, it's, it's okay if you don't like, uh, you think that when Donald Trump speaks, everybody agree with Donald Trump? Everybody agree with Joe Biden? Everybody agree with Conor McGregor? No, it's not, it's called fight business. I said I'm the king of Kunkamaya at the time. I'm allowed to my opinion. And if they don't agree, they can say it. And they can challenge me for revenge. But too late now. Too late now because now I'm not allowed to fight in Kunkamai. So even if they challenge me, I cannot fight, right? Uh, it's very funny. It's very funny. And it's, it, it, makes, it makes, it's like a joke. It's like a joke. You ban a retired fighter 